You're watching Well Traveled Life with Jonathan and Jennifer, and we are on the island of Raiatea in the city of Uteroa in the area of French Polynesia. Let's talk a little bit about French Polynesia. A French Polynesia consists of five archipelagos, beginning with the Marquesa Islands in the north, and then the Tuamotu archipelago below it, the Gambier Islands directly below them, the Austral Islands furthest south, and just above them, finally, the Society Islands, which includes Tahiti, Morea, Raiatea, and Bora Bora. There are 118 islands, 66 of which are inhabited. 60% of the people that live in French Polynesia live in Tahiti. Uteroa is actually the second largest city in French Polynesia after Papete, which is on the island of Tahiti. Your ship will dock. It's not a tender port, and there's a really nice port area. There are a lot of shops and restaurants right at the port. Similarly, activities will meet at the harbor and most of the excursions, if you book privately, will provide transportation. There are a couple of really special things that are on this island. There's the Marae Tapu Tapu Atea, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Sacred Site. It's shrouded in mana, which means life force, and this is one of those very sacred, special places with some historic rock carvings and is not too far out of town. Because you're docked right in downtown, there are car rentals, tours, kayaks, safari rides, and everything that you could want to do right from the port. So really easy to get around. The entire landscape is incredibly mountainous and you have Mount Tapioi, which provides a one hour hike to the top. It's about a mile and a half, rather steep. And so if you figure it's gonna take you an hour to do a mile and a half, it's a little bit strenuous. Definitely you'll want to bring water, mosquito repellent and sunscreen if you're going to do that. If you wanted to take a trip around the island, that's a 92 mile drive. So you may want to select certain parts. This is definitely mountainous. The views are gorgeous. The other thing that I think you may want to look at doing on this island is visiting Motus. Motus are small uninhabited islands and there's quite a few of them right off the shore. They will provide excellent snorkeling or diving and great beaches. On this island, I ended up going snorkeling on my own. I took some long walks and found some really cool places that are within walking distance, but also easy enough to catch a taxi and go that way. If you get off the ship and turn right, follow the coastline around, you'll see a rocky coastline. And I went down to just a place where I could crawl into the ocean on my own. And there was great snorkeling right there because those rocks provide fabulous habitat for great marine life. It's a really steep decline down. So pretty quickly, you kind of begin to lose visibility, not because of clarity, just because of the depth of the water, but you've got lots of great marine life right there. So that was just super snorkeling on my own, if you have your own equipment. I continued walking down that coastline past the yacht club. There's also a skateboard park and I walked past there and got to a public beach in a public park area. There's actually an outdoor workout space, which was kind of cool. People were using it and then an outdoor park, people were cooking. Obviously a really cool locals hangout. There were some great food trucks with picnic tables around them and then the beaches were interesting what they've done is they've created these cement walls and the harbor or the bay just fits into those walls it creates these little coves and there's great swimming there were lots of locals there it was safe and fun and clear and i would totally suggest that as a walkable option to a swimming area it's not a beach area as much as it's a swimming area just because 
because you have these cement walls and they create a boundary and they actually have stairs going into them but there isn't a beach area there is grass and it's a great space to lay out a towel and even do a cookout but it isn't a white sand beach for a white sand beach i would suggest heading out to one of the motus there are beautiful motus that are as close as a five minute boat ride or a 20 minute kayak ride if you're feeling adventuresome and want to do it on your own. But that's the place to go for those crystal clear waters and white sand beaches. I hope you've enjoyed this video on Rayatea. If you did, we suggest you look at our videos on the other French Polynesian islands, including Morea, Bora Bora, and Papete Tahiti.